Andrei Zhmailov has been working with wood for over 30 years already. To make it stronger and more durable, he uses a heating torch. We'll now make a wood facade panel. And to this end, we first take this light construction we've made already. Is this a heating torch here? Yes, that's a common heating torch for roofing works. We connect it to the gas supply and burn it. This unusual technology originated in Japan. However, in the ancient times in Russia, they also scorched floor and roof beams and called it smoking. Do you want to say that after that, the wood will become stronger? Oh, only resinous layers will become stronger. You see, we need to turn it, to burn it from that side as well. Add the gas. In the course of thermal decomposition, under high temperature stress, the so-called fiber channels in the outer plies get narrower, filled with tar and combustion products. As a result, the board really becomes stronger. Besides, the burned layer protects it from harmful insects and fungi. Oh my gosh. I think it's enough. In a minute, we obtain four boards like that, about 150 millimeters. It's still burning inside, a bit. Well, that's okay. What do we have to do first with this beautiful thing after we burned it? Well, first of all, we need to simply disassemble it. Wow, it's beautiful inside. Well, in fact, that's the best way of protecting your house from, well, moisture. It will rain outside. Yes, if water flows down, it will all be protected. Well, naturally, no bugs will eat it. Who cares about a burnt toast? Here, it's the same case. The only disadvantage is, of course, that the house will smut a bit, yes. To use untreated burned wood is the original idea behind this Japanese technology. But today, with the appearance of chemical methods of protection, the charred upper layer may be easily removed with the help of a usual brush. That's dirty work, really. Wow. Well, of course, you shouldn't do it indoors. Yes, it shouldn't be done indoors. You can cover the wood with lacquer or paint if you like. The color will be really unusual. Yes, well, Andre, it seems to me that with, with the help of some usual paint or some, I don't know, reactive chemicals, chemical substances, to obtain a color like that is impossible. My goodness, I never thought fire could benefit the wood. We'll now take a slab which is a saw cut, the upper part, when they saw logs on a power saw bench, the upper part is slab. These are wastes of production. Yeah, in essence, this is like firewood. We're burning the wood, like display the cracks, blow them through with oxygen to make them more visible. I mean, the upper layer burns out. Uh-huh, and the tar knots remain dimensional, and that results in a really interesting decor. Wow. We've turned on the gas now. Now we turn on the oxygen, and this is blowdown. I mean, that's the same oxygen, yet it's under high pressure. Well, that's a device for metal cutting. Yes, I mean, yet we're going to burn wood. Wood, yes. And turn on oxygen blowdown at once. Wow, looks beautiful. Go on. Let's go!
A metal cutting device, also called an autogenous welder, was developed to burn metal by a current of chemically pure oxygen. The temperature in the cutting area is over 1000 degrees Celsius. If we replace metal by wood, its soft layers burn out almost instantaneously, while hard resinous layers have time only to char a bit. There's nothing difficult in this process. A first timer can burn a usual board. A cross section of an ancient oak is a different story. We start like painting. And we paint without interruption. Splinters and cavities, they all burn out, and we have a smooth surface, which feels nice. Specialists call it to open the texture. In slow motion, you can see how from the cutting area, small flat embers are scattered in the air. Layer by layer, the wood is kind of being cleaned of the waste. We can stop here, I guess. As here, it's already seen like these fractures, while here they're fewer. That's enough to demonstrate the idea, I guess. Yes, in this process, the main thing is, I believe, to stop on time. As if you gave it to me, I could do it for a lifetime. As well, it really looks impressive. The least impressive stage is finishing. The burned layer is to be removed, either by hand or with the help of a polishing machine. And that's the case when the work is not going to be soft. Yet the result is worth it. Well, after polishing, I guess it's a finished product. Well, in fact, it's not finished yet. It doesn't even smudge you. Well, my hands are clean, I mean. I slide it and that's it. Well, maybe it should be washed a bit. It's clearly seen where we burned it. Yes, these areas more than the rest. And you really feel as if it had been like that from the start. Well, yes, as if it was some natural aging process, as if it was exposed to the wind or sea waves, something like that. It's a clear evidence of the fact that, with the help of temperature, of rapid temperature changes, you can do wonderful things.